Good day all. A resistance of a galvanometer by half deflection method. Aim to determine resistance of a galvanometer by half deflection method and to find its figure of merit. Apparatus required. A battery eliminator. Two one-way keys. A galvanometer. Two 1000 ohm and 200 ohm ranges of resistance boxes and connecting wires. Galvanometer. It is the device used to detect electric currents in a circuit. It consists of a coil suspended between the poles of a powerful magnet and current passes through the coil, it deflects. It can be detected from the deflection of galvanometer needle. The deflection is proportional to the current passes through it. The galvanometer coil has a resistance of about 100 ohm. The current required to produce a deflection. Figure of merit which is nothing but the current required to produce a deflection of one division in the scale of galvanometer is known as the figure of merit of the galvanometer. Theory. The resistance of the given galvanometer as found by half deflection method G which is equal to Rs by R minus S in ohms where R is the resistance connected in series with the galvanometer and S is the shunt resistance. For the figure of merit K which is equals to E by R plus G into theta ampere per division where E is the EMF of the cell and theta is the deflection produced with resistance R. As we know that the maximum current that can pass through the galvanometer so IG is directly proportional to K so IG which is equal to NK. N is the total number of divisions on the galvanometer scale on either side of 0. We will see now the circuit diagram. The battery negative connected to the resistance box and resistance box to key and the galvanometer should be parallel with the connection of shunt and the resistance box. Let us connect the connections and perform the activity. We will start the connection from battery from battery negative to resistance box from the resistance box other end to the one way key one end of the one way key And from other end of the one way key to the galvanometer negative from galvanometer positive to the battery positive now this one connection which is over And you have to take from galvanometer positive to to the one end of the shunt. From shunt other end to the one more one way key we have. We have to connect one end of another one way key from the other end of the one way key to the galvanometer negative. Now the connections are ready, we will start perform the experiment. Switch it on the battery, 
and ensure that all the readings of the resistance box which kept in zero now insert the key take out some resistance in the resistance box you must get the value deflection is maximum and also even in number within the scale reading right when you kept it moves out of scale you have to keep in that within the range now we got for the 5000 of resistance box 30 the full deflection which is 30 and we got for 5000 without changing uh, any readings on the resistance box you have to insert the key k2 when you have inserted the key k2 you may got zero deflection on the galvanometer now in this time you have to change the shunt value the shunt value deflection should get half of theta theta we got 30 now if i have changed the value which is this is ranges of 10 this is the ranges of 100 so when tens i have chosen you may look at the galvanometer simultaneously you may get the deflection which is very well i'm changing the ohm shunt resistance when i reached 100 i got exact half deflection of theta so now i have taken this the half deflection of the galvanometer and we will note all the readings i'll see for one more reading the same way insert key one you got the full deflection range we kept in 5000 is it right now we have to change i want the theta value as 28 now i got in the resistance box 6000 when i kept on 6000 i got in the galvanometer 10 28 now you have to without changing all those things insert key 2 now you have to change the value i kept in the shunt all that in zero now i have to change the value for the 100 i got half half 28 so i got now 14 note the values of r and we have to repeat the steps in the same way for uh, taking out different values of r and adjusting s every time from this we can calculate the figure of merit also see the tabular column the resistance of the galvanometer by half deflection method and the figure of merit resistance r deflection in galvanometer theta shunt resistance that half deflection theta g which is equal to r into s by r minus s figure of merit k which is equal to e by r plus g into theta the si unit ampere per division we have taken some values you have noticed while taking the readings we have fetched all the readings here resistance for example we have taken resistance 5000 which means the full deflection the shunt resistance we got 100 for the half deflection exactly 50 see the calculation for g we'll see for your convenient i have did for one resistance for example r which is equal to 5000 yes which is equal to 100 means we have applied that in the formula g which is equal to r dot s whole divided by r minus s after the calculation simplified we got g which is equal to 102.04 now calculation for k figure of merit the formula k which is equal to e by r plus g into theta the eliminator value we have taken 
2 volt so 2 volt divided by r 5000 plus g value 102.04 into theta 30 by simplified we will get k which is equal to 1.31 likewise we have done for all the three values we have taken for the resistance r look at the tabular column we got a three different g but all nearly the same value and same we got the figure of merit k values also result resistance of given galvanometer that is equal to 101 ohm figure of merit of a given galvanometer is 1.3 into 10 power minus 5 ampere per division we got